from the South Point Bowling Plaza in beautiful Las Vegas. We're here for the title matches of the 2015 JBT Las Vegas main event. In the girls scratch division, we have the number four seed, Madison Bailey, taking on the number three seed, Mary Wells. Both bowlers opened with spares in the first frame. This is Madison shooting in her second frame on the left-hand lane. Playing for a $1,500 top scholarship prize, $750 to the runner-up. An all-girls scratch tournament, 32 individuals bowled. 16 of them did eight games of match play earlier today. And here we are down to the final two. All these ladies, excellent physical games and excellent spare games on a really tough pattern this weekend. No problem at the spare floor. Hold on, a slightly modified version of Alcatraz, one of the tougher new sport patterns in the Kegel series. Took the score of minus 154 to qualify for the match play segment in the girls' scratch division. Mary was the 16th and final bowler to make it into the match play round, and she has just uh, tore up the field in match play. Got up to the number three seed for the step ladder. Beat six seed Cheyenne Liwa in round one and got by number two seed Brianna Lyon, don't call me Brittany Lyon, in round two to get here to the finals. But a, a tough five count washout here. If you leak the ball to the right, that's going to happen every time on this pattern. Harden straight at the five counts, only gets five three, so she'll fall behind early. Mary, a 21-year-old, pulls for Ohio State University, the Ohio State University, better not miss up on that. Have to come from behind in this one-game title match. That climb back just a little bit more. This is a fresh pair. They bounce from pair to pair throughout the finals, so no one can get this locked in on one pair, which happens on stepladder climbs sometimes. That's why we do sort of a bracket, sort of a stepladder for this. Splatter, we called it once, and I really like that name personally, just because it's goofy. Like her opponent, excellent spare shooter, no trouble at all at that two pin. Really outstanding physical games out of all six finalists. Madison came in as the number four seed, got by five seed Cheyenne Yachman in round one, and then took out top seed Stephanie Zavala in the semifinals, so the one and two seeds both bowed out in that round. Ah, there's the first strike of the title match. It belongs to Ms. Bailey. Madison name rings a bell even if you're not from Northern California where she is, it's because you saw her win the under 12 junior gold title back at Buffalo a couple summers ago. So she knows how to perform on a, the big stage in front of a lot of people in a big facility in the gorgeous new South Point Plaza. 60 lanes, 30 on either side, five tiers of seating. Tournament bowlers just dream house. And a dream double for Bailey to extend that early lead. Smiling all weekend, got a great smile. What's the, the game face on right now? Big crowd watching. All we have in the final four in a scratch is uh, Tang, Acuff, Low, and Duster. That's all. That's all we got for you for the premier 21 and under bowlers in the country. And uh, Mary continues to be fishing around here a little bit. Obviously tried to make some move off the washout and the ball grabs early. 
You're bowling a house pattern at home when you miss left, the ball just slides into the pocket and you miss right, the ball uh, hits friction and comes back to the pocket. The reverse is true on these competitive patterns. Premium on shot making and premium in any title match scenario of, of making it a great educated guess because you only got five shots on each lane in a title match. If you guess wrong, those will evaporate on you. It is uh, Patton, Fernandez, Farrow, and Chun in the handicap division. Two Hawaiians left over there. We always get a large contingent of Aloha with us. Every holiday, we're so grateful for them. I think they had a blast yet again. Mary just wants to hit the pocket on this ball. I think carrying would be a bonus, but just wants to have a clue what to do coming up. Much better ball, yeah. She knew that one right off her hand. Started to do that little walkout fist up, and deservedly so, as that was 10 in the pit. We constantly say in our weekly year-round tour that it's uh, talent, not age, that's the deciding factor. It's true yet again over here. I mentioned that Mary's 21, Madison is all of 14. So seven years younger, but uh, identical talent and results here so far. Chance to take a big lead, instead leads the 2-4-5, but keeps the ball in play. Just a freshman in high school at Whitney High School in Rockland, California, Sacramento area. A couple really good programs up in NorCal, there always has been, turning out some great talent. Harden straight at the 245 with the plastic ball. That's a great way to shoot spares on sport. That's why she won junior gold. She knows that already. Very much a nationwide field. A mix of collegiate and high school stars in the scratch division, all the way down to six and seven years old in the handicap division. Our events have Always been for any age and any average. That's right. Some of these matches might be determined by who misses right and doesn't wash out as opposed to who misses right and does wash out. A much easier spare for Bailey than the five count that Mary was faced with back in the second. Watch out for that seven over in the corner, but she has it. The regular season round tour picks right back up tomorrow, right here at the stadium with the double points Mojave events. And we're hopefully going out somewhere in New Mexico. It's a continues to be blizzard conditions out there, so to be determined. When Mary watches this tape back, she'll see herself pull up out of that shot. That's a th sign that things were going left from the outset. And unfortunately for Wells, she pays the ultimate price on that with the, the five count. The only silver lining at all is that it was on a strike, so she won't lose as much count. But that's brutal. Oh, look out! Go and get it! Oh, man! Outstanding attempt at the Greek church there. It's a good way to get four. It's hard to get five that way. They almost mixed around. Leaves the four, so she gets the max possible count out of it at least. Five, four, and a strike as opposed to a spare is uh, a lot more pins. I did my math and came up with a lot. Dug deeper for Wells, and boy, after that really good looking shot on the left lane in the 
fifth. There's another ball that checks very early on the lane and back to Confusoville. I lived my whole bowling career in Confusoville, so it's okay. Most of us have. Most of us not named Lower, Aikov, or Duster, or Tang. No problem with the five, though, for Mary. But the uh, adrenaline has got to start to be pumping here for Bailey as she finds herself. Ooh, comfortably in the lead. The spare working, shooting in the seventh frame. Oh, the Bailey Charon section starting to feel it there is another quality shot. Brings a ovation from that side of the crowd. The NorCal contingent starting to feel it down there. Lots of people watching the three divisions going on right now. Every shot gets bigger. Chance to double up here in the eighth. Oh, she got it. Boy. What poise for a younger bowler. Putting the hurt on. And his foot wells. In just about a must strike position here. Scratch matches are good ones over there to our left. Right now, Mary was trying to complete the worst to first comeback. Had to have it and does. Owner of 12-ish title, she says, and JTBA, a great long-time tour out there in the Ohio area. A three-time member of Junior Team USA, so again, she knows about the spotlight, about pressure, about international competition. And the moment is not too big for either of them, clearly. And she dial it in here. It's just about execution. Shot a couple frames ago, look good on this lane. That's good. Oh yeah, answers. Madison Bailey can go up here and throw a strike in the ninth. She will just about have it. She's going at a 2-11 pace, 2-10 pace, nine square strike, nine square. Um, the best Bailey uh, Wells can do, I believe, is 199. It's sort of hard to figure out how the scoreboards work here. Here's the shot. Mm. Crowd ready to jump out of the skin on that one. Tough to make a 10 pin to win a point in your house league, let alone the ninth frame of main event. I believe any mark wraps it up here. Well, the stronger game by far, no question about it. Wells can only max out for 199. That should do it. 14-year-old Madison Bailey is about to win the girls' scratch division of the main events. We had all three 
champions from last year all make the cut this year. Only Tang made the finals. That's it. I think we're about to see that uh, megawatt smile again. You got to be proud of that performance too, coming all the way from the 16 spot up to number two. Just didn't have the reaction in the title match. She'll be disappointed because she's a competitor, but I'll give her a little while and I think she'll be pretty darn proud of a second place finish against a strong girl scratch field. to be decided heading into the ninth and 10th frames over in the scratch divisions. Tang just guttered on a trip on a, oh gosh, on a four bagger, but he spared it up. Duster's in the 230s right now. So a huge 10th frame coming up. Wells finishes with a half 10, so 218, 210 to 177 is your final. And Madison Bailey wins the girls scratch division of the main event. Make sure to tune in for the other parts for open scratch and handicap.